All right, yeah, I lost a little bit of memory there. Uh, as I said in the beginning, um, the healers, the healers of, uh, of, of our world, we have got to reach down inside of us. Go into meditation. All right? We got to go into meditation. Put your palms on your thighs. Close your eyes. If you need to use frequencies, use frequencies. Close your eyes and see the inner verse, the universe within you, the inner verse, and see who you are. Say within, Mother Universe, show me who I am. Cosmos, what is my cosmic name? Each one of us has got a cosmic name. All right? Each one of us has got a cosmic name. Outside of the name that our, that our parents gave us, we have a cosmic name. So you have got to go deep within yourself so that you can rise on the outside. That's the only way. But the main way for us to rise is vegetation. Like I said, we have to evolve. We have to find the, 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 the right fruit the right vegetable, the right nut and nuts and grains that's going to cause our bodies to be light bodies. All right. We have to find the foods that are that are um, air elements. Eat lots of those. We got to find the foods that are fire elements. We got to find the foods that are earth elements. We got to find the foods that are ether elements because there are five elements, you know, earth, wind, water, fire, ether, you know. The water elements foods, you know, that's like your seaweeds, you know, those are water elements. Well, then, you know, you got other foods that, you know, like your fire elements, like I said before, your ether, your air, you know, your earth elements. So we have to eat the eat mostly the, the foods that deals with the elements. When we eat those foods, that's when we begin to rise. All right. Because I eat a lot of vegetation, brothers and sisters. And believe me, the energy that's in me, it ain't no joke. And I want the same thing to be for, for, to, to be for you guys. This energy that's within us. You see, our sun, our sun has evolved, so we're supposed to evolve with the sun. Our planet has evolved. We're supposed to evolve with the planet. That's why we're supposed to eat nothing but pure vegetation. You know, whatever comes from the ground. You know, um, because we are organic machines. All right. I need you to understand this. We're organic machines. We have we have programs. All right. That's why we some of us, we think the way we do. Consciousness is spiritual energy, which is our internal programs that are designed for us to rise. All right. That's why these carcassoids have to try to keep us down. That's why they use so many different methods. You know, they want and they use our own people against us. You know, our people eating this meat, eating this flesh. This flesh, when you eat meat, it holds you down. It weighs you down. It's full of acid. It destroys the alkaline body that we have. And this alkaline body is not a, is ne is a necessity because uh, um, in order for alkaline to work, you got to have the energy coming from up and the energy coming from down in order to make you work. You cannot be conscious and knowingly eat flesh. All right. And it may sound harsh, but you cannot be conscious and knowingly eat flesh. <coughs> you have to be able to make that ultimate sacrifice. You have to be able to make that open, make your life, make your body a living sacrifice. Saying that I'm not going to eat this stuff here because this stuff right here is designed to make my, my, my body fold under. The cow is a hybrid animal. You can't eat the cow. Some say the cow was created from a, from a, from a bull and ox. Some say it was created from a yak and a buffalo. I've heard other things said the cow was created from a, um, a dog and a deer. A chicken is a hybrid animal. <clears throat> All right. A pig is not even from this universe. 
So you understand, you're eating flesh, now you're eating death. So how can you rise? How can you rise metaphysically when you're eating the flesh of dead beings that once roamed the planet? You cannot. But you can rise when you eat that live vegetable and that live vegetable stays alive in your body for, for, for the longest. You got to understand, when we're eating these fruit and vegetables and they are alive, they don't die inside of us. The energy that they give off stays inside of us and constantly feeds our bodies. That's what makes us light bodies. All right. So you eat the flesh of an animal who died and the spirit is already gone, which means that it, 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 it in no way can give you energy and strength and power. That's why when you eat meat, you feel all down and you want to go to sleep because your body slowly dies your your body dies just a little bit just from eating that flesh all right but when we eat these fruit and vegetables these nuts these grains whatever they're still alive no matter what they, the grains even though they look dried up they're still alive all right because they give off energy and you got to find out which one is a fire element which one is a, 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 um, a wind element? Which one is earth? Which one is ether? Which one is water? You know, you got to you got to study these study the, uh, um, the, the grains to see what elements that they connect to, because it is highly important for us to know what we are eating in order for us to rise. We have to rise. So I did the video with the ohm chance. You know, we use the ohm chance. Um, I did the video showing the, the Tai Chi because the Tai Chi is nothing but dancing with the earth. All right. And that's how you move the elements. You don't just stand still. You got to move with you got to dance with the earth. And when you dance with the earth, that's how you move the elements. So you got to understand what's going on, brothers and sisters. In order for us to rise, we must rise mentally so that we can rise spiritually and our spirits will help us to rise physically. All power to the people of Melon. I'll catch you again later. Peace out.